Hey guys, it's Reza, and welcome back to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So, uh, we're trying out that the Hill Orc race now. Um, yeah, so last time I lost my temper a bit, and I kind of got out of hand, and I just started bashing my head into a wall, hoping I was going to get somewhere. And, well, when you play like that, uh, you're not going to get anywhere in Dungeon Crawl. So, uh, I'm back. Uh, my temper is under control, so we're going to try and keep that... Uh, to a minimum um i'm gonna i'm gonna use the long blade this time the falcon for no apparent reason just because i can um so yeah we're not gonna bash our heads into a wall this time and we're gonna try and keep our temper under some amount of control uh we're still gonna play fairly fast like we do but uh we're gonna play a bit more cautiously so that we don't end up um just uh, dying for no reason at all. Um, all right, there we go. Oof. All right. Okay, cool. That couldn't have been bad. All right, uh, I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna get these stones just so we have something that's ranged. Ooh, a sling. Uh, we'll take that. Slings are really good in the early game. Uh, set this to B, and there we go. All right. See, this things are really good with no um. He's got an enchanted mace of some kind. Uh, it's a mace of protection. That's actually really good. Oh, wow, got him. Uh, in that case, uh, we may just switch depending on how the good this is. Plus one mace. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, we're gonna switch the maces and flails. Just because the protection is going to give us a lot of extra AC in the early game. And that's going to be really good for later on. And we haven't invested all that much XP yet. So that's also going to be really good for us. Um, we're going to set our mace to A so that we can switch in between the sling and the mace. Uh, that's an altar of the shining one. And that is super early too. So... Um, we're actually going to take that because this is a really early shining one and the shining one's uh, a lot better for um, 15 runes doing extended but this early on um, it's going to give us a nice little boost uh, especially with the mesa protection uh, and the shining one's healing that we get from killing enemies uh, we're, we've got a nice very very nice start off right now um, yeah uh, so I don't see us having really much problem in the early game. Uh, we're going to continue to pump strength like we usually do. Switch back to our sling. And now we're going to hope that we get a um, nice set of armor. Um, so uh, just a little things about the, the ranged weapons in this game. Um, you receive no penalty for using a ranged weapon in melee combat. Which is really nice. Uh, we're gonna back up, shoot a couple of bolts that did nothing. All right, cool. So snakes are still a little scary. Um, ooh, there's a shield. Uh, we'll we'll take that. Put that on. Um, go ahead and start training shields then. Oh, there's an altar to Zen. That's cool. A lot of early altars this game. And I think that's actually the first time I've ever seen a D1 altar in the first place. Ooh. We've got some booties here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, plus one pair of boots. I will take it. That's two extra AC. Um, let's eat some foods. Uh, switch back to the sling. We got a, got a snake here. Easy. All right. Another snake. Yeah, that, that Mesa Protection is really helping us out, especially considering the fact that we haven't run into any actual armor yet, which is a little odd, um, but that's fine. Uh, we should eventually find some. Oh, wait, that's right. I can't butcher corpse because, uh, or not corpse, but I can't butcher orcs specifically. 
because I am following the shiny one. Oh wait, that was uh, leather armor. I do want that. Um, that's just a little bit better AC than what we currently have. So uh, that brings us to five nine, whereas we were. <clears throat> yeah, so it just trades one to one ratio. Uh, that's fine. I'd rather have AC than evasion right now. AC is a lot better, uh, especially for the early game, in my opinion. Uh, well, AC is always important, but um, just in general, I feel that it's a lot better for us. Uh, all right, uh, what do we got here? Huh. Uh, let me check this real quick. All right, I thought if I hit, oops. If I hit tab, it usually goes to the next enemy in the room. Um, it's a magician. It's a Naga wizard. Um, Naga's a little bit difficult. Um, I don't think it has its spit poison ability, though. It does have 44 health, though. But uh, once we hit it, our C will go up. And, oh, he's got blink. That's right. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't want to fight him. We're faster, so we can just run away. Ow. All right. Um, there's a staircase. Uh, so we'll take this staircase back up and heal up, and we'll go down another staircase. Not that one. We'll do this one. Or not a problem. Uh, that's a flail. Uh, flail's a little bit better. Um, but I'm gonna hold on to the the plus one mace for now. Um until we find a branded flail, which would be pretty good. Um, I do kind of want to identify that. Let's just check these. Identify, there we go. All right, uh, so enslavement's gonna be really good. If we can use it to um, take control of an enemy and uh, it'll be really good to use when we're facing packs and stuff. We can uh, mind control one of the earlier enemies. And we got some, uh, some glowing ring mail here. What do we got? Plus one ring mail of poison resistance. Awesome. So that means we don't have to worry too much about any poison. Oh, we got shafted uh, two floors. Oh, we got shafted three floors. Uh oh. Um, all right. Uh, scroll of teleportation. I will take it. All right. Uh, that was kind of a bad teleport, but did save us a little bit. All right, let's see if we can find, uh oh, that's a sky beast. We can't fight that. All right. How are my, oh, okay. Uh, we're gonna read another scroll teleport here. Uh, we can't fight these, not all surrounded like that. Uh, we can do the shadow imp. Eat some food. All right. Uh, oh, that's a nice beast. Where are these staircases? All right. So we are fairly screwed right now. Um, can't seem to find a staircase that goes up. All right. Uh, we're going to use our last scroll of teleportation here. Uh, cause this is not good. All right. Back here. Um, we're going to try this way. It's my, there you go. Auto pickup. All right. One bullfrog's not terribly scary. All right. Uh, grab that. Uh, we can put that on. Our corrode, our leck, our poison. All right, uh, so it's a ring of resistance to everything uh, with only minus four intelligence. Uh, that's really good. Uh, we're going to keep that. Uh, put that on. All right, uh, I don't want to touch that. I'm just going to take our time. All right, coke is not too bad. All right, um, whew, uh oh, um, 
12 crap. Okay, I did a little misplay there. Um, where are the staircases on this? Oh my gosh. Ah! Uh-oh. Um, anybody pushing a healing? Hey! Alright. Um, Jesus Christ, what is this? Is there literally no staircases in this game at all? Do staircases even exist? Are they, They're just a myth. That's all they are. Staircases are a complete myth. I've literally explored almost the entire floor and no staircases up at all. This is outstanding. All right, so there's no staircases up here. Um, at this point, I've completely considered the point that um, staircases do not exist in this game um, for the mere fact that there are none on this floor. I can continue to explore this floor and for the rest of eternity, or I can go down and die. How did that scorpion lose us? I'll never know. All right, he found us again. Let's eat some food, and let's hope we can find a way out of this. Um, well, crap, uh, looks like we're not getting out of this one. Um... Oh my gosh, where are the staircases? All right, uh, the only real place left is behind that alarm trap and to over here. Um, so we're gonna try over here. Um, I'd much rather have this adder next to me than that centaur right now. All right, uh, it has to be behind the alarm trap. That's, all right, uh, that's something I'm willing to, uh-oh, okay, uh, we have to fight this now. Um, we have absolutely no choice in the matter. All right, so this progressively gets worse. You know what, I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit and fight it, all right. Okay, we killed everything. All right, um. All right, cool. All right, that's fightable. All right, that's not scary. Come on, come, thank God, all right. What was that? What on earth was that? That was absolutely awful. I cannot believe that is even a thing, that we spent that long searching for a staircase. Hey, scarf. Cloud immunity, okay. Uh, that did a lot for us on our Minotaur, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, we're now two floors back up, so we're in survivable territory. All right. That's right, I can't chop up orcs. Let's see if we can find a staircase now. Bet you it's going to be a lot easier than the freaking, uh, atrocity of a floor that we just went through. Literally only one staircase on the entire floor. I mean, whoever designed that was an idiot. <sighs> More ghosts. What is this? Gargoyle Earth Elementalist. Okay, um, that's not too bad. Uh, the Sandblast probably will kill us, though. Um, and he's got a, a ton of AC, as any Gargoyle does. No, he's chasing us. There's a staircase here. Perfect. All right, uh, let's not get shafted again, because that was absolutely awful. Yeah, our sling isn't going to have much effect anymore at this point. So probably just going to, I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Uh, it doesn't really do much for us anymore. All right, let's head down a floor. Oh, this is, I think we can actually take him on now. Did he die? No. 
He blinked. There we go. Alright. More orcs. Uh, that's a priest. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright. Um... Not liking that one bit. All right. Okay, I like this a little better. Uh, we are drained though. Uh, Edmund's probably gonna die, uh, but he's got a nice flail on him. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't use draining because of the shining one. Plus three flail of venom. All right. Uh, that is better than the mace of protection. So we're gonna use that from now on. Uh, one, it's a flail, so it's got higher base damage, and two, it's got venom. Venom's really good, and plus three is just all around better. Alright, I uh, definitely want the scroll of teleport. Uh, scroll of fog is going to be nice. Uh, magic mapping will be good. Um, I don't really want the identifier right now. Uh, we've got plenty of identifies. I uh, get the scroll, and we'll buy one of noise just so that we can have it identified. So that we can get rid of all the scrolls of noise. <laughs> Alright, there's Holloman's ghost again. Um, what was he? Uh, Gargoyle Earth Elementalist. Uh, we can probably take him now. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. Another snake. Died really quick, one shot. Alright. There's the temple, but we're not concerned about that. There we go, we got some more piety from uh, Okawaru, or Okawaru, uh, the shining one. Oh, that's Grinder. Um, uh, I th think he, he has a lot of magic resistance, I'm pretty sure. There he is. Uh, let's just check him out real quick. Uh, oh no, he's only got one pip. Alright, uh, we're gonna try and do him dirty like he does us dirty. And paralyze him. Uh, there we go. We got him. Yeah, alright. Uh, that wasn't too bad. So, um, yeah, since he only has one point of magic resistance, uh, actually makes them not at all terribly scary. That is one interesting uh, thing right there. Um, uh, there is nothing worthwhile in there for us at all. Absolutely nothing is good in there. Uh, that's just death. That's all it is. Or uh, it's certainly a step towards it. So rather than deal with that, because there's nothing, there's a scroll of identify. And, oh, it doesn't tell me what's underneath it. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but there's no reason to go in there. Not now, anyways. Uh, we can hit it up later, but um, it's not going to have any value to us. Alright, uh, we don't need to go to Temple, because we've got our... <sighs> this floor again. Alright. Um, we're much more capable of dealing with it now. Yeah, this is a lot easier now. Some more gnolls. Uh, these guys are actually back spawns because we've already been here. And they weren't here before. Hey, look, there was another staircase that goes upwards. Would have been nice to see those a long time before. Alright, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and activate this. Just to see what's up here. Our other staircase, I bet. Yep, there's that other staircase. And some boots. Uh, we've already got some nice boots, so we don't need those ones. Alright, let's head down the floor. Wait, uh, what are we sporting right now? Poison resist- Okay, so yeah, we've got just all the resistances. Uh, that's an amulet. Uh, I fear it might be an amulet of faith, and I really don't want that. It's an amulet of harm. Uh, it's good, but I don't want that. Um, there are a lot better amulets that I could have right now. Um, I kind of really want reflection at this point. 
Alright, uh, we poisoned him, and there's another ghost behind him. That has an executioner's axe. Uh, so yeah. Um. Minotaur fighter with an executioner's axe. So we, we don't want to mess with that at all. Alright, and now he's adjacent to us. That's great. Wonderful. Alright. Somehow, uh, he became slower than us. Um, oh, that was a misstep. Uh, right, let's head upstairs and find another staircase. Oh, that's Joseph. Um, uh, we're going to try and paralyze him. There we go. And he's dead. All right, so uh, this paralyzed one is doing wonders for us. Absolutely outstanding. Um, it's been the MVP so far. Um, let's use these corners to our advantage. This way, the since all those gnolls have hailbirds, um, they can fight over their buddies. Uh, but using that corner, they can't do that anymore. So that's going to be really beneficial to us. Uh, there's that ghost again. Um, we've got haste on us. Um, I'm just going to quickly identify, um, some other potions before he gets to us. See if we have anything to help us against him. Um, what do we have? Uh, mutation, heal wounds. Okay, so really the only thing that's going to help us is the haste. So we're going to go ahead and we'll drink that because we're not going to really run away from him. And I really want to explore the rest of this floor. There we go. We got him. All right. Awesome. There's that wraith again. All right. There's an altar to Rue. Uh, hippogriff. Uh, just poison him up and take a couple steps back. There we go. So the flail's working out wonders for us. Um, eat some more food, because we're not having any luck on corpses right now. Prince Ribbit is not scary at this point. Not with the flail of poison. Oh, that's an eye draining. Oh, that's not a wall. Eyes of draining aren't too bad. Uh, they can't really do any physical damage to you. Um, what's the MR resistance on this guy? One. All right, uh, we're going to try and paralyze him. All right, that didn't work. Uh, all right. All right. Come on, please, just paralyze. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can find a scroll of recharge. That's a scroll of brinking. Luckily, we got two of those. Scroll of amnesia is not important. Chant armor. Um, let's put that on our boots. And then our shield. Uh, you know what? Let's just go through all our scrolls. Uh, we got enchant weapon. That's pretty good. And last one is recharging. That's actually what I was looking for. Uh, let's put a bit more on that uh, Wanda Perilous because whew, it's been doing some work for us. So it's going to be pretty good to have a bit more of that around. All right. Uh, he's got an enchanted morning star. Uh, I'm going to skip it for now. And that's another flail of venom. Probably not better than ours. All right, ogre, get poisoned and die. Hello, no. Holy smokes. Um, those are death yaks. Uh. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try and divine shield here. All right. So we got a bit more shield now. Deal with these guys. Um, MR resistance. All right. They they got a ton. All right, and we're not going to be able to fight Death Yaks right now. I was just going to see if I could poison him. And now we're going to back off and hope he dies. Uh, we can probably take this one. Yeah, we took him. All right, uh, we're going to have to find another staircase down. Um, that's D8, Death Yaks. And uh, we're not really attuned to dealing with those until we reach um, the very bottom of Lair. So that's kind of an unlucky pull by us. Um, this can't be anything good, so I'm just going to exit out. Poison him up and take a couple steps back. Let him die. 
right, uh, all right, that's Pickel. Uh, we shouldn't have too much trouble with him. We're at a point now where uh, there isn't really much that he can scare us with. Like, a, a D3 Pickle is really scary, um, but a, a D7 Pickle is, he's a, he's a pushover. It's not scary anymore. Uh, we're going to put some on that Polymorph, because I have a feeling that's going to come in handy. Yeah, and there's Lair, and that's Death Yak. Take a couple steps back. All right, uh, he's thoroughly poisoned, so he should just die to the poison. Yeah, there we go. All right. Hopefully uh, those humans run into those death yaks. Um, oh yeah, that's right, I can't chop up that corpse. Looks like a... Uh, yeah, Scorpion had some dinner. Um, there's another death yak. All right. Um, all right, we got two of them on us. Um, all right, that that Quokka trying to get us killed. Oh my gosh, uh, that's one MVP death. Yeah. Uh, we're going to teleport. All right, uh, worst teleport in the history of teleports. Second worst teleport in the history of teleports. Um, going to drink some heal wounds. Uh, we've got electric resistance, actually, so this isn't terrible. But... And we got a scroll of teleportation for our troubles. Okay, um, I don't like how this is going at all. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll dive. Uh, we're gonna go past this floor. I don't want to deal with Deathly X anymore. Uh, I figured if I like pull them off one by one, they shouldn't be too much trouble. Oh my gosh, what is with the ghosts today? What is this? Uh. Deep Hill Fire Elementalist. Okay. Um, we don't have any fire resistance, I don't think so. I don't really want to deal with him. Let's just see if we can get some better uh, pulls here on the luck. Uh, looks like no is the answer. We're going to see if we can paralyze this guy again. Because otherwise he's going to hit like a truck on us. There we go. Evocation would make that a lot easier to paralyze him. But um, we don't really want to be trading evocations right now. Not with all the stuff we're already training. Um, once uh, armor hits 10, we're going to turn that off for a little bit. So that we can get shields up a bit further. To get rid of the penalty created by the shields. And I'm just going to go down to um, D10, and then uh, I'm going to head back up and go into Lair. Uh, I just like going down to D10 if I get an earlier Lair, because it makes me feel a lot more competent for dealing with Lair. Just makes me feel just that much safer. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Um, we got a Wanda Digging. Uh, we're going to use that to make a kill hole here. Oops. Uh, what's it on? It's on J. Alright, that's right. I can't chop up orcs. Alright, one or two wizards alone isn't bad. Alright, uh, about that kill hole. Yeah, perfect time to use it. Alright. There's that, that deep elf again. Um, I think he's got too much magic resistance. Yeah, he's got two pips of it, so. 
Alright, uh, he sticky flamed us. Um, uh, we're gonna want to blink here. Uh, we may just straight up die. Um, Alright. That was pretty close. Alright, so we learned a lesson. Don't mess with him. Uh, especially without fire resistance. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to do that again. Um, we're just going to run if we see him again. It's unfortunate that we had to waste a scroll blinking, but I thought I could out DPS him. But uh, Sticky Flame is really good, apparently. I mean, like, insanely good. And I knew that before, but I'm certainly aware of it now. <laughs> I was like, eh, it's a pretty good spell. Uh, it was a lot better than I was expecting. Oh, nice. Only one charge. Those two-headed ogres seem to be appearing a lot more frequently, too. I really don't like that. All right, uh, we're going to head back up. And we're going to go into lair now. Whoops, we're past it. There we go. Alright, porcupine, not really scary. Uh, that's Gastronok. Um, he's got a lot of magic resistance, if I remember. Oh, he's only got two pips, but, um... What's his spells again? Um, he knows Cantrip, Summon Small Mammal, Sprint, Airstrike, and he has a 75% chance to slow us. See if we can identify some stuff. Scroll of Torment. Uh, that's not going to be useful. Or that's not even what I wanted to identify. Oh, there we go. There's a potion might. Um, that should be enough to take him on. All right. Uh, we'll take our potion of might, and we're going to bash him into the next millennium. Uh, give me both of those. That's really good. Uh, so we got a, another potion of might for our troubles, and we got a plus two hat of magic resistance. Uh, that is completely worth it. Uh, wow, we got some great stuff from that. Uh, and we technically didn't even lose a potion of might for that, which is awesome. Uh, I like that trade. Uh, that's Grom. Um, we're gonna back up. Uh, we're gonna poison these guys when we can and then I uh, just kind of run away just so that it kind of reduces the amount of damage we take plus the poison will eventually kill them that's an eight-headed hydra um they have poison resistance if I remember correctly yeah they're resistant to poison so we're not going to want to mess with that um wait what's its magic resistance uh, two pips. Uh, yeah, we're not going to want to mess with that. Um, we pretty much explored the entire floor, so we'll head over here and we'll dive. Alright, uh, scroll of enchant weapon. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh my gosh, uh, we're, we're just not getting a break today. What are you? Uh, Vine Stalker Transmuter. Alright, that's not awful. Um... It's a little bit scary. Oh, and that reminds me, uh, turn off armor so that we can start training some shields. All right, came right next to us. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, um, we're going to teleport again. All right, he's slowing us down, so we're going to slow him down. Alright, awesome, that, that worked out. Um, use these corners to our advantage. Um, Alright. Hippogriff. We're getting hit a lot, we need some better armor. Um, a little bit more AC would be nice.
All right, that's Nergale. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna might to get rid of her. Oh, we're still mighted, so get rid of that first. Um, uh oh. All right, uh, we're gonna hope and pray. All right, uh, praying worked. We lived somehow. Um, ideally, I should have uh, used my uh, abilities there. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's go ahead and train some invocations and let's get that uh, those failure rates down um, so that we can start using our divine shield and stuff a lot more earlier. Uh, that's a warped sword. Um, this guy has almost no magic resistance, so we're going to try paralyzing him again, just so that we don't have to be stoned. Alright, uh, let's see what we got here. Plus 7 longsword, drain a uh, chance to rage, or wait, is that a chance to rage, or... Um, uh, oh, it lets us go berserk. Um, it is draining, though. Um, Alright, uh, we're going to drop it uh it has draining which would be great in any other case but since we are following um okawaru <laughs> okawaru you can see how much i play okawaru since we're fighting uh the shining one um it's not going to be uh worth our time to actually use it because uh we're just going to be losing piety for it so Plus, uh, we've kind of gotten to the point now where we're so far in um, flails that we aren't really going to want to risk that issue. Alright. Alright, uh, so since we have poison resist or electric resistance, that's not really scary. Fighting the water is pretty scary, though. All right, so it looks like we've dealt with everything on this floor. All right, uh, pull these guys over here. Use the corners and the, the one-way hall to our advantage so we don't get surrounded. Just kind of general know-it stuff. All right, next floor. Uh, distant snort, so um, let's go ahead and use our magic vapping to find out where that is. Um, looks like it's down here. Yeah, it's down over here. All right, let's head down this way. It's actually next to one of the other staircases. So it'd probably be better if we go up and we take one of the other staircases. See if it's this one. Nope, not this one, and that's awful. Whoops, that's not staircase. There we go. All right, cool. Got the labyrinth. All right, uh, let's find this minotaur and kill him. Oh, uh, we actually don't have much on us in the way of dealing with him. Um, let's use these identifies. All right. Um, not quite sure how we're going to deal with the Minotaur. Um, six, he's insanely strong. Um, it's going to be a little bit scary. Oh, hello. Um, these guys are using stone arrow, aren't they? Uh, they are. Alright, um... Uh, the actually the the way I think we're gonna have to end up dealing with um, what you call it uh, the uh, the Minotaur is we're gonna have to um, chance it on using our God ability and summoning an angel to help us out um, and we're gonna put on the plate armor it's gonna bring our AC up by six uh, we don't really need the resistances right now. So, um, yeah, the plate arm is going to be a lot of help. That's interesting. Uh, that just changed there. Uh, I didn't think that, um, I 
that uh, the um, what am I trying to say here? Uh, I didn't think the maze actually changed. And this over here, this emerald stuff, I think it's emerald, whatever it is. It's a crystal wall, whatever. Uh, it looks like emeralds to me. Um, we're gonna use our, uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Uh, we're gonna use our summon divine warrior before we actually go in there so that uh, we have a chance against him. The divine warrior is gonna really up our chances of killing him. Oh wait, it's over here. All right, so somehow I missed the entrance. All right. Um, all right, this is as good as spot as any. So we're gonna. All right, first try. Cool. All right, so we're gonna. All right, get him, divine warrior. All right, easy enough. <laughs> easy kill. All right. Uh, he had a staff energy too, which is. Probably the, the big part there is why we killed him so easily, uh, is the fact that he's using this staff of energy, which is just an awful weapon to use. And we got a nice little helmet out of it. Um, it's a helmet of sea invisible. All right, it's worse. So we're going to go ahead and we'll drop that. Uh, we don't need the poison resistance uh, ring mail because we got poison resistance on our ring, so we'll drop that. Uh, dream sheep. Dream sheep is pretty bad. Um, Torpor snails are disgusting. I hate them. You all should hate them. They're awful creatures. Um, there's a scroll teleportation here that we can't get, and for some reason my computer is telling me that I need internet security or whatever when I've already got it. Um, let's drop that. Uh, holy schmoly, we have wands for days. Let's get rid of everything that's completely useless to us. Um, the ice blast is nice. Uh, we've already got tell. Um, we'll get rid of the second one of that. Let's get rid of that. I don't want the lightnings. Um, okay. Holy schmoly, we had ones. And I don't even know why. Alright. Let's get rid of him. And now let's just finish off the rest of this floor. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna get it down to uh, layer six and I'll call that an episode because this has actually been going pretty fast. Uh, we haven't, uh, we're getting a lot of bad luck, but somehow we're managing to successfully curve that bad luck and get around all of it. In terms of items though, we've, got, we've gotten some really decent items. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's layer three, layer four. Uh, that's a Hydra. Uh, that's a six-headed Hydra. Um, let's just get somewhere where we can use some corners to our advantage. Uh, I'd rather face the Hydra alone than to face him with a bunch of snakes surrounding me. Uh, this looks like the, the snake nest. Uh, All right, uh, we're surrounded by Mumbas. Um, we're gonna teleport here. Uh, this is really bad. And we're also gonna drink a potion of curing so the poison doesn't kill us. All right. Head down here, heal up. Uh, let's check what this is right here. All right. I thought it might be a little uh, a reward area. Uh, there's another black Mumba. Um, it's like it's just the one though, so we can take him. crocodiles and frogs Blink frogs aren't scary uh, not especially when we've got a weapon with poison on it so you just poison them and run away uh, use use this little alcove more blink frogs poison them and they die <laughs> Mining frogs aren't terribly scary at this point. How are we looking? Uh, what's that do for our stuff? All right, uh, we're gonna continue train some more uh, invocations. Uh, TSO's uh, invocations are kind of really, really uh, skill heavy. So just continuing to train that. 
Okay. Um, that death yak somehow managed to be faster than me and blocked me. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, I know why we're slowed. It's stupid torpor snail. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure we can take it. Alright. Uh, let's head back up and heal. Kill this one. Kill this one. Uh, porcupine somewhere. There we go. Another sneaky. Another scroll of enchant weapon. It's got quite a few of those. Uh, our foil is looking really nice. Uh, we're on layer 5 now. Okay. Uh, that was a lamp of fire. I do really want that. Alright. Once again, use these corners to our advantage. Yeah, so we're at the point now um, that uh, death yaks are scary, but they're manageable, which is nice. Get out of here, Komodo Dragon. More sneakies, more of that. Five-headed Hydra, not scary. Um, completely doable. With respect, though, uh, I'm uh, I'm scared of them, but not scared of them. I know I can take them, but I still need to respect that they are a very strong enemy. Uh, we're going to stare pull these guys. Okay, looks like we're pulling the whole thing. Use corners. All right, there we go. Corners are your friend in this game. Uh, always use corners. Uh, you can sometimes even... Uh, use them to fake out enemies. Uh, you can use like half corners and enemies will sometimes not be able to path their way around their buddies in order to attack you. So they can't actually get a full surround. It's really nice. Uh, this is the fire one. We don't have fire resistance. Yeah, that sword was the only thing that gave us fire resistance. Um, so I'm just going to X that out for now. Uh, we're going to hope we get some... Okay. Um, Alright, that, that was a little scary. some potion here um you know what uh, i'm gonna use both and we're gonna take this slowly okay Whew. all right that, that was uh very scary that that linworm came for us he had he had a vengeance for whatever reason i'm just respecting giving uh utmost respect to those guys because we have no fire resistance and so they've got range and fire damage over us. So giving them enough respect to ensure that we survive is going to be very important. All right. And it also seems there's an ant nest on this floor, so which means uh, we're going to have the ant queen to deal with and the um, and two entropy weavers that come in the ant's nest. Uh, we definitely do not want to open that door yet. We may do slime, uh, I don't know. Our last Minotaur game won slime, so um, I'm not all that scared of slime anymore, but I still give a ton of respect to it. Uh, there's that Entropy Weaver I was talking about. Uh, we're just going to want to make sure he's not on screen. Um, Alright, uh, we're going to back up. Alright, uh, he, he did his thing. I'm going to use our digging wand here, and we're going to use these walls to our advantage. Alright. Okay. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Uh, there still is one more entropy weaver, though, somewhere. So we just need to be a little cautious. Uh, make sure he... Uh, that if we do see him, um, he's not with a 
pack of enemies because otherwise these are the pack of enemies we're gonna need to do another kill hole um if he's not we can just rush him down uh, at least i think there yeah there he is all right uh he's not with a pack of enemies so i'm just gonna rush him down yeah there we go all right uh, i think that is the whole floor i'm just gonna head back up and heal back down deal with that all right um that was a dream sheep um yeah hate dream sheep all right um yeah all right uh this is really bad um oh we're up against the wall okay um i'm gonna teleport okay Whew. that sucks uh so it didn't dig there because there's a maximum size for the um the actual map to be and that edge right there is right along that maximum size so we couldn't dig into the wall to make a kill hole ran into the sheep again all right uh we're just gonna bun russian all right that worked okay all uh, right, uh, that was our six. Um, next time we'll finish up some more dungeon. We'll go through work. We'll probably start our first rant branch. Uh, we've got shoals and we've got snake pit. Okay. Uh, in that case, we'll probably end up doing shoals first. Uh, or I'll figure out next time. But uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, so far, we're doing pretty good with this uh, hillock monk. And so I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching.